Thank you, Speaker. Uh, I would like to say that uh, our common foreign and security policy should be about hard power. It should be about defending our borders and providing peace and security. That is not only by peacekeeping, it should also be by peace and forming, uh, enforcing. And the UK should be fully integrated in that. And that's why European defence aspirations should be integrated in NATO. Uh, of course, if it's not possible for NATO to act for whatever political reason, uh, we should be able to act ourselves. Uh, that is also in the defence of our interests. Uh, but again, let's try to get on one line with NATO. That is the best option. If we look at security threats, I also understand that seen from Washington DC, a threat from Russia is different than if you look from Tallinn, from Kiev, uh, or from Georgia, or from Moldova. That's a different way, a different angle. If we look at the uh, situation in the Middle East, of course this is a global concern which concerns the United States as well, but it's directly on our borders. So we have a specific extra interest and therefore we should put our money where our mouth is. We should really invest. And again, those countries who would like to be a member of the European Union should also adopt our views about security and defence. I thank you very much.